Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle has been summoned to appear before a House Oversight Committee to explain what took place. Crooks was flagged by authorities for acting suspiciously an hour before the assassination attempt and was spotted on that roof 20 minutes before he opened fire. A roof, as I say, that police were inside that building. Any way you slice it, it was a security failure of the most mammoth proportions. Here's Kimberly being chased at the Republican convention. This is exactly what we were doing today this on the call. This was an assassination Stonewall. attempt. You owe the nothing. people answers. You owe President know. Trump answers. And look, as Bill pointed out, the, the way that the agency has handled these questions has left it uh, the... The conspiracy theories allowed to fester and they're everything from this is an inside job to the Iranians being behind it all. I mean, look, Evelyn, some of those don't add up for me. I mean, why get a 20 year old with depressive, <laughs> manic depressive <laughs> disorder, a major depressive disorder to conduct a hit? A very difficult hit, I would, would say. You have more experience on this, yeah. your background in the police force. But what's your feeling about this all mm. now a week on? Well, it's interesting you mentioned conspiracy theories because at the moment, that's exactly what's happening, but you have it on both sides of the fence. On one side of the fence, you have people saying, you know, it's um, it's an inside job. People uh, wanted Trump assassinated. The Secret Service let it happen. And then on the other side, you have Democrats and you have more left side of people saying... Trump staged it, Trump faked it. And what does this tell you? Because regardless of what you look at, you have to ask why are both sides coming to the conclusion that none of this makes sense is because it doesn't and because it shouldn't have happened. And so when you look at that, you, you have to say there's obviously um, a lot of issues here that need to be delved through. There's a lot of questions that need answering. But from a law enforcement perspective, this never should have happened. Um, it's a monumental failure. I said this last week um, when I spoke about it, that there's only two options here. And the option is that it was known about, which we don't have evidence. We have conspiracy theories at the moment. And sure, I'm not saying, you know, that, that all of those might be necessarily wrong. We don't know yet. But um, it's either that or a monumental stuff up that never should have happened. There was a dr this particular shooter um, was flying a drone around the entire thing, like like well before the event had even begun. Um, like you said, I think the Secret Service came out and said it's too dangerous for law enforcement officers to be on the roof. Well, is it more dangerous yeah. than them standing in front of the president to get shot by a bullet? Yeah. Yeah. I don't I, think I, so. I, That's I, a cop-out. Yeah. When it comes to conspiracy or cock-up, it is always a cock-up. And the, the, all these conspiracy theories fall over at the first hurdle, and the hurdle is about that high. Um, the, firstly, if you were really going to take out Donald Trump, you would you would get this 20-year-old kid from the local with no... Hey, look, he actually had a perfect vote. shot. Let me well, just say... Was it no, no, it was, okay. it was actually a very difficult shot and he did a really good job. It was the illegal immigrants who saved Trump. And now you might think so, this is weird, yeah. but <laughs> Biden's illegal immigrants <laughs> saved Trump. And, and would you, you believe it? Because he looked up... You say that because he pointed he to He looked up at the and screen yeah. his head in a just, split second so was, because he was showing illegal immigrants. And who said, OK, Donald, he's about to fire now. You've got the message. OK, turn your head and he's going to fire just a quarter of an inch next to your brain, it actually, okay? It's absurd. No, I was in on it and I was Donald Trump. No, but hang on nah, a second. Let me just say this. It was that. a very difficult shot. I, I do a lot of I'm not. I won't say, it, but I have had a lot of experience with with firearms. It's a very for difficult... a farmer as well as being Correct. a police. All Let's legally, just make that clear all legally, not local, not all legally. <laughs> but let me just say, it's a very difficult shot. Uh, the angle of it, plus the the crowd, um, you've got to factor in wind. Like, it was a very difficult shot. And had he been a little bit better, he would have gone through that. It was literally, as Trump said, by the grace of God, that he turned his head at the right moment it, it, and it, it got was actually it was but, 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 no, but it was it was it was millimetres. It was millimetres. It was millimetres. He'd also war. taken multiple shots previously. Yeah. It's like JFK. Again, the handling of the the... the the investigation is almost as bad as the actual act itself when it comes to... But there was a lot of planning. Theory. That's the point. Uh, there was a lot of planning he, for he, him he, to get as far as he did, and that's a very monumental mammoth stuff up that yeah, he so got that far. The entire Secret it's Service just, in on it, they just turned a blind eye to it. It is the local no, no, cops who flagged fine. him yeah. as You're suspicious right. but not a person of interest. Was he in on the conspiracy theory? It's madness. The, what the, it was... The, it's, the nature of the cock-up was that the head of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, didn't want him killed. 
But I don't think she would have minded a lot if he was. She, yeah, they, that's they, true. For two years, they knocked back an application to have more guards. Yeah. Two of his bodyguards were women shorter than him, so the head shot was still available. But that's... Yeah, so but that's, 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 that's just... Well, if he gets killed, she loses... Conner. Her job's already on the line and he survived and he's going to become president. If he gets killed, she's a goner. She like, needs that to makes look... No at sense. the end of the day, like, whether you wade into all the conspiracy theories and whatever <laughs> it is, uh, Evelyn, I think you've, you've summarised it best when you say, look, it's, it's one of two options. It was either an inside job or it's a catastrophic failure from the security... There's no other option uh, for anything in, else. Well, there really isn't any room mm. to move on that. But the question for me, the most important one now, remains what happens going forward now for Kimberly Cheadle, right, as the director of the Secret Service. The, you know, they were right to chase her at the Republican convention. And, and as one of the women rightly pointed out, the congresswoman, she said, we deserve answers. Trump deserves answers as to how and why this was allowed to happen. She's, it's a quota, that's sacked. why. She's and either sacked now or she's sacked on January 20th by the new president. But yeah. this is a problem. She's got to go. I think either no. way she has to go. And this, you know, ridiculous move when it comes to DEIs to achieve 30% yeah. of women in there... You know what, DEIs, in whichever context you want to talk about, do not have a place when it comes to life or death. No. Right? The people that deserve to For be anything. in these positions are the ones that are going to stop you from getting killed, ultimately, right? So that's what you need to talk it's, about. If you yeah, want I, I saw context. it all the time, And why it doesn't work. It, but it's happening right across the country if you want to broaden the scope. I mean, it's occurring at every corporation, in, in all of these organisations, where you think, all right, you know what, enough is enough. We've reached a point now where this is the perfect example. Example, DEIs Although, <laughs> do not work in that. I think situation. you could definitely make an argument that it is a problem with workplace culture more generally because, as I think um, Ev hinted at, one of the concerns was that the roof was not a safe workspace to be in because the temperatures were going to reach. Wait for it. Everyone in Australia is just going to have to sit down and have a dance. 32 degrees. And, and, and it might have been too hot for a sniper. And it was sloping. Oh, my God. How will they handle it? There's a, great, a, there's a surface. great reel going around. As a farmer, I appreciate this, where they're saying, you know, oh, it's unsafe for the roof, and then it cuts to a shot of a cow up on a tin roof and, like, 40 degrees. And I'm like, it's so true. But also, but, it, 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 it didn't working. seem to make sense because the counter snipers, the snipers from within the Secret Service and the local authorities, they were on slope roofs. They said, that's oh, that's they said we wouldn't like... be able to get a good, they wouldn't have been able to get a good shot anyway over the slope. Well, that didn't seem to be a problem. You, to be a you problem know what you do? You know what you do if you can't get on the roof? And as someone in law enforcement who has to prepare operational orders, you know what I would do? as the officer in charge of that security, I'd go, you know what, it's unsafe to get on the roof. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put back the perimeter and I'm going to cut out those shops. I'm going to put in orders like and, and work with the, the local shops there and get them to close down business for a couple of hours or whatever it might be. But if you can't access the roof, you make sure nobody else can. But also, Very but also simple. If, if workplace health and safety is your absolute paramount concern that cannot be breached. Don't be in under secret any service. service. Don't be in the secret service. service. Yeah. Yes. You literally are obliged to take a bullet for the president. <laughs> <laughs> and say, oh, I don't want to get some sunburn. Don't want, don't want to get a bit of heat. The UV rating is a little that bit is higher. The main, that's the main concern here. Look, 